Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give a quick lesson on constraining in FreeCAD. Uh, there are two approaches to modeling. One is you start with solid primitives where you manipulate them to form 3D models. Another approach is to draw it in 2D space and extrude them to create 3D objects. In real world, we use both methods to generate CAD models. So let's start with FreeCAD. So let's create a file name, say block. So this is the file name. Now you won't be in the sketch. I'm already in the sketch, so I'm going to switch back and come back to demonstrate how to get to the sketcher so that's you're in the sketcher workbench now let's create a sketcher uh, so you can create it in xy plane let's start with x by xy plane so one thing i want to do here is to switch off the auto constraint feature because this is a lesson uh, i want to kind of demonstrate by switching it off so let's draw some arbitrary lines so first line was just a one line then we have a polyline where we are going to draw multiple connected lines so um as you know we have to create that uh, uh, the, the the sketch that is in the picture so we are trying to create that uh, something similar. So let's start with these arbitrary lines and try to make it look like the what we have uh, created uh, over here. So yeah, as you see, it's it's uh, terribly under constrained. And now let's start applying constraints. Let's make this vertical. So that's the way to make it vertical. So it's constrained in only in vertical direction. Now, now I'm going to do it the other line vertical by you know making that line parallel to the one which is already vertical. So now they're both vertical and they're all parallel. So let's do the same thing for these horizontal two lines. Make one line uh, horizontal and then make the other one parallel to that. So now they are both parallel so so you got kind of a halfway here uh, so we got to apply a few more constraints so let's connect this to that by you know coincidence nodes so by coincidence nodes you are connecting them together uh, move that to the right uh, and then <coughs> we have to create an arc so let's do a let's say two point arc with a radius so that's what we want to do so pick a center just at some some location and then pick the end points first end point is there and the second one is over here there so now we have two end points uh, arc with two end points uh, now they are not connected so we have to coincide them to connect them to the vertices of the lines so keep that in mind so they are just uh, arc drawn in space right now so we are trying to make it um, tangent so that's what we are doing now we are making them tangent to each other so you, as you see they are not, since they are not connected so you got this problem they're not uh, going to be tangent so let's make it coincident and that will make it uh, tangent to each other now you can see that is tangent so you have a smooth transition from vertical line to the arc so we have to do the um, same thing to the other point but meantime let's look at how this body is uh, constrained so it, it's it has still has some deficiencies as you can see it can move around now if you move around it, it moves uh, away from each other so let's do that let's go inside them now we are kind of uh, 
uh, in terms of connecting all the elements, uh, you're done, but still it is under constraint because you you can you know you can move around and uh, you know you can alter the shape but now by giving dimensions what we are doing is uh, making it uh, even you know tighter so you you are kind of uh, constraining it even further so we give a horizontal dimension now we are giving a vertical dimension uh, so now you what you are doing is essentially you know uh, constraining it and as you see on the uh, left lower menu it, the the degrees of freedom is keep going down as you start constraining them so let's add another dimension to that say 1.5 now you are you know you you are kind of under constrained by four degrees of freedom so now um, let's there are a couple of more that you need to do uh, let's put an angle between that uh, line and this so that would let's say 135 so that's constrained further now you are kind of a uh, under constraint by three degrees of freedom um, and now we need to put few more constraints to make it fully constrained so um, let's what we have to do here is let's put a radii onto that arc uh, let's do that uh, by yeah you can go there and put, pick a uh, constraint radius and then put a number there let's say 1.5 or oh, 0.75 so let's make it 0.75 now um, so in terms of shape it's constraint so your shape is fully defined now uh, but it still shows as under constraint and that's because you can you know move the entire um, sketch that we draw in x and y direction so that's the reason why it is saying under constraint so you have to lock that into a, some fixed position so one thing you can do is as i did right now constrain it to the origin or you can do a you know another way is to um, locate it locate this cage with respect to the origin uh, so by giving some uh, dimensions to a f to a, a vertex so that is you can give one inch in x uh, to that feature and then you could pick another one and give another uh, let's say on, on vertical direction one inch now you are fully constrained the sketch so that's how you can constrain the entire sketch now you you simply it cannot move around and it is fully constrained So I'm just moving few dimensions and here and there just trying to you know clear the clutter uh, locally so um, now you, let's close it out and let's give uh, create a block out of that sketch so you could do this is go to part design and uh, you will need to uh, add a a body because we are we have created is just a sketch now so now the, so you can attach the sketch actually onto the body so now you, you attach that sketch into the body now what you have to do is um, go to pad padding and then give a dimension let's say one inch and that will extrude the part by one inch so you got a nice uh, body the block that we wanted to uh, create so that's kind of ends this video and if you 
uh, find this useful and if you have any questions or you have any comments uh, please um, provide those comments and questions and uh, if it if you find this useful uh, please uh, subscribe thank you